This is an NBC News special report. Here's Lester Holt. Good day. We are covering an unfolding catastrophe right now in Miami. These are live pictures from near Florida International University where a newly constructed pedestrian overpass, a bridge, has collapsed onto a road beneath. At least five to six vehicles were underneath, are underneath that wreckage, and authorities there are confirming several fatalities. They're not offering any numbers right now, but you can see uh, the length, about 174-foot span of bridge, newly constructed, scheduled to open to pedestrians in 2019, for some reason collapsing onto that multi-lane highway there you see, and there are several fatalities. Our Maya Rodriguez is en route to the scene there in Miami. She joins us on the telephone to tell us what she has learned so far. Maya? Hey, Lester. Well, the Florida Highway Patrol is telling us that they have confirmed there are several fatalities involved in this pedestrian bridge collapse. You've been seeing some of those images coming in. At least five to six vehicles are crushed underneath it. Right now, Florida Highway Patrol out here trying to ascertain the situation, whether anyone needs to be rescued from underneath this collapsed bridge. This is at Florida International University. It's one of the largest public universities here in the Miami area. Tens of thousands of students would normally be here on campus. However, this is spring break week. So those students, for the most part, are not on campus. But where this bridge collapsed is Southwest 8th Street. Many people know that as Calle Ocho. It is a heavily, heavily trafficked road. It is near the Florida Turnpike. So you have hundreds of thousands of cars making their way through this particular area every day, trying to get onto the Turnpike and off of the Turnpike. This was in the middle of the day. There would have been a lot of traffic in this particular area when this bridge collapse happened, as evidenced by all those cars that are now underneath it. Right now, there are some questions about whether anyone has survived underneath the bridge, whether there are rescue attempts going on. We have search and rescue out there trying to figure all of that out. Also, was this some kind of structural collapse? These are all questions that are being asked right now by authorities as, again, they try to ascertain if anyone is still alive underneath this collapsed bridge. But we do know, again, from the Florida Highway Patrol, that there have been several fatalities here. Maya, Maya, thank you very much. And there have been reports of ambulances already taking a number of injured people from the scene. But you can see the mass of that bridge, the concrete. It is similar to what we see in collapses from, say, an earthquake. It will require undoubtedly heavy equipment for uh, rescuers, for search crews to begin to get under there and see if there are any survivors or to at least retrieve uh, uh, those who passed away. Let's go to N NBC's Tom Casella. Tom, when we see these things, typically we talk about a conversation about infrastructure, aging infrastructure. Yeah. Here we're talking about a brand new bridge, not even open yet. Well, that's right. In fact, I was just checking the numbers before I came out here and found that there were 54,000 structurally deficient bridges last year. Uh, but this one was literally brand new. They had just swung it into place. They had really constructed this in a rather unusual fashion, building it off to the side of the interstate. And then they literally swung it or pivoted it into position only just a few days ago. It was put in place on March 10th. We're not even sure. It doesn't look like it was even open yet. Because look at the orange construction uh, type of material, the gating, if you will, that, uh, that you see at the very top, the webbing that you see on top of it, that would suggest that this this wasn't even open to pedestrians yet. Uh, and so what's going to be a, clearly a part of this investigation is, is was this yet completed? Were all of the safety procedures, all of the engineering steps, were they checked? Were they verified? How is it possible that a brand new bridge with this really novel type of construction process uh, just collapsed only a few days after going into place? Uh, one other note, Lester, as you look at the massive response from Miami uh, County and Miami-Dade Fire Rescue, they also, of course, have an urban search and rescue team down there that deals with exactly this type of an emergency, with people who are trapped in rubble. And so you can imagine they are calling all of those resources into position now. Yeah, and to, and to your point, we understand that it was not to be open to pedestrians until next year. So this was brand new. But obviously the concern is not the bridge itself at this point, but what's beneath it. We saw when the chopper moved in a little bit there, we could see uh, what appeared to be a, a minivan or an SUV, just the tail of it there. And you see another uh, uh, vehicle there where half of it is beneath that wreckage. But we're told five to six vehicles in all were directly beneath there. 
Uh, you can imagine other cars stopping short or speeding by. And so there have been some injuries and people taken to hospitals for treatment. But what we know right now, the Highway Patrol confirming several fatalities in the collapse of this pedestrian bridge over an eight-lane uh, highway, eight-lane street in Miami. We'll continue to follow developments. We'll come back on the air as developments warrant. And, of course, a full wrap-up when we see you tonight on NBC Nightly News. For now, I'm Lester Holt in New York. Good day. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.